Hello friends and welcome back to Roaming Around. The purpose of today's video is to try to tackle Magic Kingdom and see if we can get on rides and attractions with a 30 minute or less wait time. Every single time I go to Magic Kingdom, I kind of anticipate chaos and just long waits. That's what I've experienced in the past at least. So I'm going to give this a try. Wish me luck. By the way, there's no Genie Pass or Lightning Lane or any reservations. We're just showing up. As soon as we got into Magic Kingdom, the Disney Friends Adventure Cavalcade was going on. First up, Dumbo the Flying Elephant Ride. Not even a five minute wait, pretty much a walk on. Not bad. After that, we made our way over to the People Mover Ride. Once again, just about a walk on. Not bad. I actually love this because it brings you around the entire Tomorrowland and you can see what's going on through the park. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And stars, if there ever lots to see. Still on the people mover here. We've come up to Tron. I just wanted to show you the progress. I'm excited. I can't wait until this is available to ride it. Next up, Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin. This is a popular attraction and it did take us to our limit. This was a 30 minute wait from start to finish and we had a great time. You can see here they give you a laser gun and you shoot the aliens and then it comes down to who gets the highest score by the end of the ride. Next up, the Carousel of Progress. So this attraction did not have a wait either. We just walked right in and we were able to get on the carousel. So just to keep in mind, this is a very long attraction. It's 21 minutes in totality. It's educational and the purpose of it is basically just showing the audience how we've progressed from a technology standpoint over the time. We decided it was time for a snack, so we went over to Auntie Gravity's Galactic Goodies and tried this new Alien Freeze. Honestly, it's simply amazing and very refreshing. You should try it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Next up, only a 15 minute wait for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. So people were starting to line up for the fireworks, so I decided to take advantage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I raise a toast to one of my many shipmates. By the time we got off that ride, we saw that the fireworks had started. So why not take advantage and try to get on something else? We decided to get on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. As you can see in the line, we were still able to see the fireworks, which was pretty cool. So we're waiting in line and we're still able to see the show. Once again, this is one of the more popular attractions. So this took us approximately 28 minutes from start to finish to wait and get on the ride. But hey, again, we stayed under 30 minutes and we had a blast riding this. This is actually my first time on this. And what would be a trip to Magic Kingdom without getting on It's a Small World? It was about 10.30 p.m. at this point. The park was starting to empty out. And this, once again, was a walk-on. Overall, we had a great time and it was a win. We were able to get on quite a few attractions with 30 minutes or less for a Friday night in July, as I said before. The park did have extended hours and that did work in our favor, but it can be done at Magic Kingdom. Thank you for watching and roaming around with me.